Well, boys, it's Kieran here. Today I am at Desborough Skate Park to skate the little quarter pipe again. Got a couple of tricks in mind that I want to try. Um, it's slightly damp, although the sun is starting to peak out, so hopefully it will dry off enough that we can get a half decent session in. Um, there's two tricks I want to try. And then one, the first is another one of these sort of like coping dancing tricks, um, which is a feeble to rock to fakey. I saw Neil Hester do this on one of his recent videos, his mini ramp video. Um, edits um neil's an absolute legend um i've said it before on the channel a few times but he has helped me so much with my transition skating um so yeah big shout out to neil one for that and two for the inspiration for this trick so we give that one a try as a bit of a warm-up slash new trick i feel like i should be able to get that one reasonably quickly and then the second thing i want to try is backside disasters this one is a bit more outside of my comfort zone um i've played around with it before in the past without really coming close but this is part of this i really want to push myself i want to take some like significant progressive steps um, i'm gonna make a video about that which will either already have come out in which case if you've seen this you'll know why i'm doing this um, and if not just keep an eye out for it it makes sense but basically i've got a list of tricks that i want to try and get done before um, the end of the year which i will feel like as are like significant progression steps all tricks i think i can do but i know it's just that bit outside my comfort zone and um, backside disaster is definitely one of them i think i'm more than capable of doing it but to do it i need to really push myself outside of where i feel a little bit safe so yeah that's the plan for today um first thing to say so just gonna get the legs warmed up a few little tricks on the quarter pipe and then we'll kick on with that feeble to rock to fakie and once we've got that hopefully we'll have a bit of time it'll dry up nicely and we can kick on with backside disaster There we go folks, two feeble to rock to fakies. Not particularly pretty, like I just sort of like dangle in the feet all and then slip into the rock. But I'll take it, it's it's still a land, it's still the trick. Not as stylish as the ones that, certainly that I saw Neil doing. Um, they were absolutely awesome, but so yeah. Make sure you go and check out Neil's channel. He is such a good dude, so helpful when it comes to transition stuff, um, like massive inspiration. So yeah, go and check out his video. He'll show you them properly. Um, rather than those little limp ones that I just did. But that wasn't the main point of the session. The main point was to try and come down and try backside disasters. I wanted to do that first because now I feel like I've achieved something. I have learned a new trick, even if it was a bit rubbish. But yeah, the backside disaster is something that is well out of my comfort zone. But within my ability, if you know what I mean. Like, I think I'm capable of doing it. It's just a case of working out and going through the process in my head of can I make myself do it is probably the best way of putting it. So uh, yeah, we're going to crack on with that now. I feel like this one might be a bit more of a battle. Hopefully we get enough time. The clouds are pretty ominous. It would suck if it started raining, but it is November and I'm in England, so I should expect it. But yeah, that's enough chit chat. Let's just crack on with this backside disaster. I'm fairly confident that if I can get into one, I should be able to land it. That's that's my thought process for this trick. Like I don't do switch rock, fakie rock, whatever you want to call it very often, but I feel like I'm good enough that I can get out of one if I'm into it. So the key is just whether I can get into the backside disaster. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that's like a reasonable start. Kind of got into two. Um, need to make sure I get enough speed coming up. Kind of feel like I've sol solved that problem now. The second thing is, I need to remember to try and stay upright and get on top of the board a little bit more. At the moment, the board is behind me. So as soon as I land, it's I'm pushing it with my feet away from me, so it's sliding. I'm, it's gonna be impossible for me to land like that. If I can just stay on top of myself a little bit more, I'll get this. It's just 
gonna be kind of tricky for me to to do that because I feel like at the moment I'm leaning forward to get all that extra rotation to get the back, the back wheels up and over. So I kind of need to like calm that process down. It probably doesn't need as much whip and just make sure I'm staying on top of the board. And then we should get into it and we just got to get out of it. And if we can get out of it, we'll have landed it. yeah that's that was awesome i just watched it back um it felt pretty good but i don't know i just felt like i needed to watch it back to kind of make sure it happened um but yeah that was that was awesome that was an amazing feeling um i kind of slide slid my back wheels into it um that's pretty normal all the sort of trick tip videos i watched said that that's definitely the way to start doing them and then over time as you get good you can get into the point where you like kind of bump out the ramp and slam down into them but i mean if i only ever do them like that forever i'll be more than happy that felt amazing the key was just committing to it that sounds it's like quite often the worst advice in skateboarding it's like oh you just got to commit to your trick but it is so so true so often and um, once i decided that i was going to try and stay on top of the board no matter what I instantly started getting close and yeah that's that's the result Do you know what I mean it, is, it was as simple as just making sure that my feet were going to be on top of the board um I'm so stoked so so stoked that when I came down to do this one today and when I wrote it on my little trick list I was like I'm fairly confident I can do this one but there's always that little thing in the back of your mind and especially for me in my skating which is that I may just freak out and quit on the trick before I really get to a point of committing to it just because you know skateboarding can be scary sometimes oh I'm so stoked <sighs> the best feeling like all that I've learned a bunch of tricks and stuff recently like little things and all of them like anytime you learn a new trick it feels good but when you learn a new trick that's like pushed yourself out of that comfort zone it's the best feeling and this is the feeling that I want and that I might have chased this is why I'm doing this whole tricks before the end of the year oh okay i need to do at least one more ideally two or three um we'll see how it goes see how long it takes to get the second one um yeah i didn't crack on it i'm talking because i don't want to do it again even though i really enjoyed doing it that's so dumb right let's get the camera down get at least one more um yeah i feel so good okay that's it managed to get three more uh, the first second one came literally straight after the first one and then the other two took me a while as i started to like lose my concentration which is pretty par for the course that's how it always works for me so but stoked to have learned that trick and um, as always i'm just going to edit down just the extra makes don't need to show you all the other attempts but yeah super super pleased it's been a while since i feel like i've learned a trick that really pushes me outside my comfort zone where you get that amazing feeling that big silly beaming smile um yeah just it's it's been a while since i've pushed myself like that to do something that was was genuinely a little bit scary and a little bit different for me so and that's the whole idea behind these sort of 10 tricks for the rest of the year um is to do things that feel like significant steps in progression for me so yeah stoked super stoked with myself today so as always, folks, huge thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone who takes the time out of their day to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. Um, don't forget to leave a little like down there. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and drop a comment down below. Let me know any other tricks you think I should try, whether it's quarter pipe tricks, disaster variations, whatever. It's just awesome to hear from you guys. But yeah, until next time, see ya.